I today am going to show you all of the different linear, straight line, linear proportional relationships and the ways that they can show you. Tables, I'm going to show it to you in graphs, I'm going to show you to you in equations. The big three. So I'm gonna to try to make this as simple as possible. And I'm gonna show you first with some colored blocks that I have. We're gonna take some blue, we're gonna take some orange, and we're gonna try it out. Going down. So a proportional relationship, for the most part, is if you have a certain amount of something and then the other piece you have that same amount. So one orange is the same as or is proportional to three blue. So if I wanted to increase this relationship, what's it gonna look like? What happens when I take two orange? Well, if I took two orange, that's one more than the last one, isn't it? So I've gotta go ahead and I've then gotta take two sets of three blues. You get it? If I do it one more time, I'm gonna need three oranges. One, two, three. How many sets of blue do I need? Well, in this case, I'm going to need three sets of blue as well. Do you see a line forming a little bit between the blue and the orange? It's a proportional relationship. I could keep going, but this is gonna knock over eventually. It's just too big. It makes a nice little line. Let me show you with actual mathematical examples now, not just my pretty All right, I'm gonna do a speed round on proportional relationships, and we're gonna look at graphs, we're gonna look at equations, and we're gonna stop, and we're gonna look at tables as well. And I'll stop here and there to kind of let you know why something's proportional or not. With graphs, it's pretty easy. A proportional relationship, first of all, it's gotta be a linear relationship. It's gotta be a straight line. Both of these have straight lines. And they both gotta start at the origin. And they both do. So I'm gonna check both of them. They're both proportional. Next, again, both straight lines, but only one of them starts at zero and then goes up. This one starts, doesn't start at zero or the origin, so I'm not gonna pick that one. Both of these, this one does not start at zero, this one does, starts at the origin, so that's a proportional relationship. It's also a straight line. Now for both of these, what I wanted to show, stop here and show you guys for just a second. Both of these do not have anything they do not have anything after it. So what really what I like to do with my students is put down, in seventh grade we don't really talk about y-intercept, but we kind of do because proportional relationships start at the origin and that's a y-intercept. So I like to tell the kids, as long as you could add on a zero there at the end, then these are both going to be proportional relationships. So for this one, I'm definitely gonna put, pick both. I'm sure we'll see one that doesn't. Now this one right here, x squared, anything with an exponent is gonna create a curve. It's gonna create a parabola. 
Well, we definitely haven't seen those yet in seventh grade. This one here, I could put a plus zero at the end of it, so that one is proportional. The one with anything that's squared or cubed even, that don't pick that, that's not gonna be a proportional relationship. Both of these are straight lines and they both start at zero, so they're both proportional. This one here, this one says we have two-fifths x, which is fine, but it also says we wanna start at negative nine on the y-axis. That one is not proportional. We wanna be able to start at zero. This one I could add a plus zero if I wanted to onto it. So the first one is not proportional. The second one is because it would start and go through the origin. Going quickly, 10x plus zero, yep, we could add that on. 9x plus zero, yep, we could add that on. They're both proportional. This one does not start at the origin, this one does, so the one on the right is proportional. Hey, I'm doing pretty well. Both of them, proportional. Uh-oh, we got a parabola. That is not going to be proportional. That's gonna create a curve. This one I could put a plus zero on, saying that we're starting at the origin, that one's proportional. And now we're moving. This one, what is y equals x? Well, y equals x means it's gonna go through the origin, and that we are increasing at a rate of one every single time. So one unit, we're gonna go up one on the y-axis and over one on the x-axis. It is a proportional relationship. We could put a plus zero after the x. There's that squared again. We don't wanna pick it. Even though this is an improper fraction, it still means we're just gonna go up three on the y-axis and to the right two on the x-axis. We could put a plus zero after it, which means we would go through the origin. It's proportional. Both of these could put plus zeros on the ends of them. Proportional. This one's a tricky one. This one says y equals two. The problem with this is there's no x value. This is saying that we're gonna go through two on the y-axis, not proportional. We wanna go through zero on the x-axis. We could put a plus zero at the end of this one, so that one's proportional. What are they gonna give me now? Now they give us tables. Let's slow down for a second. Let me grab these and find out which are proportional and which are not. Let me get you in view and let me get somewhere where I can write on this because we want to take a look very carefully at the y value and the x value. I want to take a look at the y value and the x value. The y value is our numerator, the x value is our denominator. And so I have the fraction here of 3 fourths. Now, 6 eighths and also 9 twelfths. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab my calculator. I know that I want to reduce, all of these should reduce down to the same fraction. If I take 6 eighths and reduce it down, 2 goes into 6 3 times. 2 goes into four, 8 4 times. So that one works. Okay, so those two are proportional. And 9 twelfths, 3 goes into 9 3 times and goes into 12 4 times. So that one works too. All three of these work so that one is definitely proportional I'm gonna check it here in just a second the other one our numerator is the Y our denominator is the X so this is gonna make five fourths this is gonna make ten eighths and this is going to make fifteen twelfths and if I reduce this down five fourths is gonna stay five fourths I know two can go into ten five times and eight four times so that one works and I know three can go into 15 five times, and three can go into 12 four times, so that one works. Both of these are gonna get checked off definitely as proportional.